last and final topic for today, we'll be discussing under the topic of our universe, new discoveries, a Mars-sized planet um, may be lurking at the edge of our solar system. So now it's been about 11 years, right? About 11 years since Pluto has been de um, demoted to a dwarf planet status. Um, <clears throat> Since then, the hunt for Planet X, actually changed, recently renamed to Planet Nine, has grown into an international movement. And we're trying to find an object in the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune's orbit. If you're not familiar with where the Kuiper Belt is, it's also known as KBO. And finally now, um, deep, 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 deep within our uh, solar system, looking on the edge of it actually, um, part of our solar system to be exact, <clears throat> maybe another planet they believe to be the same size, if not greater, than Mars, or somewhere between Earth and Mars. The University of Arizona astronomers Kat Volk and Renu Malhotra, they say while studying the orbital tilts of roughly 600 icy bodies in the region, known as KBO, they discovered its Mars-sized body. And KBO is a swarm of small icy objects <clears throat> um, that truly extends beyond the orbit of Pluto. Now, if they're right though, then that would bring the total number of planets in our system to 10. We would have 10 planets in our solar system. Now, the thing is they have yet to actually see this new planet, um, but they can sense its presence. In a new paper due to be published in the Astronomical Journal, they describe an odd dis uh, distortion in their orbits of objects in the outer part of the KBO, ones that are between 50 and 80 AU away. Now, AU stands for astronomical um, unit, or the distance from the sun to the Earth, which actually happens to be 92 million miles, by the way. That's an astronomical unit, 92 million miles. <clears throat> now, these far away KBOs, um, they orbit at all kinds of angles, which is very different from you know, the nearer bodies in our planet, or I'm sorry, our solar system like Earth, would circle the sun um, in the same plane. It's on one plane, it just keeps circling the sun. The, <clears throat> the far away KBOs, they, they have all different kinds of angles and they can be on any given plane. That's why I believe, <clears throat> we believe of course, scientists myself as well, um, that's why it's difficult to find this thing. It was the difference in the orbital tilt though that really sparked the astronomer's belief that there was something bigger going on, that there was something out there. So when Volk and Malhotra, um, Malhotra I'm sorry, analyzed these objects or these orbits in search of the average plane, they found that it was very offset or it was offset by eight degrees. It's significant, Volk said. And the most likely explanation is this object on the outer solar system that means that this 10th planet could be responsible for their unusual orbital plane. That's how they're making all of these connections. So if there is a planet out there, right, roughly the same size as Mars, its gravity could pull on the orbits of small KBOs, dragging them out of the invariable plane that Earth, Jupiter, and the rest of our planets inhibit. So for their study, Vulcan Malhotra, they examined, um, I said, the 600 KBOs, Scientists know about 2,000 KBOs, but they truly believe that there could be as many as 100,000 um, of significant size. It would be useful to have more KBOs to make sure that this is a real signal, Volk said. <clears throat> but even so, their analysis suggests there's only one to 2% chance that the results are because of a fluke in the data. So they truly are convinced that this planet does exist at this moment. Which does bring us to a bit of a problem though in this discovery, because no one has actually seen it, right? It's not actually been observed yet. Um, Caltech astronomer Konstantin Batgin, who co-authored a paper last year proposing the existence of Planet Nine, says he would, um, or we should pump the brakes, at least for now, on this, um, this new planet. He explained, that searching for a 10th planetary object is as small as this one in a region as vast as the KBO may not yield any definitive uh, answers soon. So <clears throat> we still have much more research to do, of course, is uh, the point there. And honestly, the research will never stop. It'll never cease. I wish there was a disclaimer 
um, that scientists kind of had to let us know or it was displayed or at least understood among the general public, you know, that we are all just doing our best, you know? Information changes, discoveries happen, matter shifts. It's all natural. And we all kind of have to be prepared for that. So we have to be more comfortable with the unknown and be more accepting of this new information and allow it to truly, truly um, be and prosper and to truly, we want to understand things, truly. Not just say one thing and then everyone gets on board. We want to know. So it may feel like I'm preaching to the choir, of course, because many of us who watch this show, we probably do understand that there is more and that we do have to do more research and that not everything is kind of how it seems. Um, but I think that we definitely can all agree on that. Regardless though, it's interesting information, right? And I definitely can't wait to hear more and I, you probably can't wait to hear more. And you can read more up on this. The mysterious Mars sized planet may be hiding at the edge of our solar system. We found this on the Washington Post, but there are a few other people that are talking about it as well. Um, so that wraps up our show for the day. Ladies and gents, I hope you truly enjoyed it. You can find us at believe.love or on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. For our Apple users, believe iTunes.com and for Android, believe Android.com. Thanks again and please come back for more exciting information.